So we're looking at another game controller from GameSir. This is their, uh, I guess, new X2S type C controller. If you have an Android phone, of course it has USB-C, which is the majority of them, then this should work great. And I'm guessing if you have an iPhone 15, it should work because those are USB-C. But sadly, I don't have an iPhone 15 to try it on. We have tried a couple. I don't know if I have them downstairs. I think they're upstairs. We have tried a couple of the GameSure controllers and I actually really like them, especially the last one we did. It had a really nice, it was fairly big, which I actually liked. So it had a really nice feel to it. This one though, I think again, the X2S is something that is going to be a bit smaller. Uh, I've watched some videos in that on it and a lot of people were comparing it size wise to the Nintendo Switch Lite. So, you know, you lose a little bit of the grip on it. It's, it's just smaller. So for some people that may be really good, especially if you have small hands or if you are letting uh, someone younger play with this, this is gonna be good for them. But we're gonna take a look at the box and then we're gonna connect it to uh, my Android phone here and uh, see how it does. So this this is a uh, this is it here. This is what it came in a little plastic bag, bag bag in a box in a box in a bag box in a bag. Down the side you can see here. What does it say here? Cloud gaming compatible. So if you are someone that uses like a Xbox Game Pass with X Cloud or whatever it is, or the PlayStation or online service, something like that, you should be able to use it. Uh, controller support, ultra low latency, uh, compatible with 110 to 168 millimeter phones, durable components, uh, share your highlights. And it does see, it does see at the bottom here for Android, but I, my, my thought is that it, it should work with iOS, but I don't know for sure. So if any of you out there have an iPhone 15 and you have something like this and you're like, yeah, it does work or no, no, you're wrong. It doesn't, then let us know down below. Uh, anyways, this is the back of the box and uh, the wording is very small. And it does, see, it really does look a lot more like, like a Switch controller. It doesn't look like it has very elevated grips or anything like that on the bottom. Now, as far as I know, like the previous game controller from GameSir that I actually took a look at, I think it came in like US based, 70 or $80. Uh, this one is cheaper. So you're looking at, Last time I looked, I think it was like 49 bucks or something like that. So you are spending less money for sure, but it's gonna be up to you in regards to, you know, if you wanna spend less money and get a smaller controller, or if you have big hands like me and would rather spend the more monies and get, get a bigger controller, you know? Anyways, this is it. White box. Unparalleled performance await your command. And it's got, I, I like the box that it's just a nice little flippy open, flippy open and X2S type C. Very nice. So you've got the actual, I guess that's it. It's just, it's everything's right there. Okay. And then I'm guessing everything else is in this here little box. Yeah. That's, that's way smaller, you know, way smaller. Now, before we look at that, we're gonna look at this. My guess is this is gonna be just your cables. Maybe some extra controller tips just in case. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Yep. So you get a couple extra ones of those. Uh, my guess is those are gonna be just a bit bigger than these ones. So if you want some bigger ones, there's gonna be your, hey, it passed all your stuff that says it's good. Uh, there's your big fold out manual with fonts that are just way too small for anybody to actually read. And you get this, which is, my guess would be, yeah, join the GameSir Discord community if you want to contact them. Uh, they do have a GameSir app, which I have downloaded on my phone. So you want that just to kind of, the nice thing about the GameSir app is it actually tells you some of the games that are compatible with it, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of nice. Um, looking at this, like it, it all feels, it's like it feels good, but if you, Look at the previous video I had, especially in regards to, let's see, the buttons and things like that. Uh, even though they all feel fine, like they got, like the clicks are, clicks are really good on it. Um, they do just, you know, cosmetically, they, I don't know if it's the color or the matte or what, but it, it just feels a little uh, more budgety. And as you can see on the back, like there's not much at all for like any kind of, 
you know, grip on the on the back. Like it's pretty flat, right? You guys can see like how flat that is. Uh, you do have your R1 and R2 triggers back there. Your USB-C here. Uh, my guess that would be, you know, a pass through so that you could actually charge your phone while you're playing. And you will see your USB dongle here. It has a little bit of little bit of flex to it so that it will line up properly. And again, it's got a good stretch. So uh, let's let's put this fella in there, shall we? Now this is not a flagship phone by any means, so don't don't uh, be all like judgy on game performance. But it's a decent size phone, so that's in there like that, and that 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 looks and feels just fine. And you will see, I got a power light right off the bat, which I guess means that it's all it's all good. So let's uh, I don't know if this fingerprint no, this one allow this to access yeah for sure. Allow it to access, yeah, still yeah. Allow, it's all good, do what you do. I'm all good with that. Now, first off, before we go anywhere, uh, again, there is a GameSir app, you guys may be able to see it right there. And inside the GameSir app, my hope is that this will spin this way. Yeah, good, good. Uh, like I said before, this does allow you to go in and kind of see featured games so that these are going to be games, of course, that are going to be compatible with uh, an external game controller because nothing more frustrating than the games that you want to play. You realize, hmm, nope. And, and a big one, I think, too, is that, you know, you can just download this app and take a look at the games before you even buy the controller because maybe it's a game that you're like, I want it to work with this. And then you realize that it doesn't work with that. So that that would that would suck, right? So uh, there we go, we got this. You do have some other things. So you have categories, if you wanna go in there. Uh, you have the actual device, you have help, and you have the store. So if I go into the physical device, you will see it shows you, I think, games that are uh, currently on here that you can play with, which is really good. You can check at the bottom for firmware upgrades, so you can look, and current firmware is up to date, but if there was a firmware, that's where you would go, uh, your game, pad test. So this is where you can actually come in here. I wonder if I can turn my screen brightness up for you guys. There we go. Uh, left joystick, you can kind of see where it's, right? It all seems to be working good. Right joystick seems to be working good. D-pad, of course, works good. Your triggers, right button, left button, here you go. And then all your physical buttons. The other thing that's kind of nice here, and I think it's, oops, I think it's under here again, under key settings, is you can decide if you want it in the traditional, what it has laid out, the Xbox layout, or if you want it to be the Switch layout because you are gonna be uh, playing something that requires the Switch layout for, for actual keys. Now realize that they're not physically changing the letters on the keys, of course, because that's impossible. Uh, unless unless down the road, you know, that they do something cool where they actually just make these like light up and then they light up different, that would be kind of sweet, but you can. Uh, the other thing you can do here is too is it, let's say in the sticks here, let's say you're a person like me that uh, you know there's either some drift. Now they do say if you take see how these are at five, they say if you bring it below five you can encounter some drift. But let's say you want a bit of a dead spot inside here, so it's not all you know. See how it's maybe you can see it. It's just you know it's so like it's so what's the word I'm looking at? It's just it it's. It's there, it's on it. So if you're someone that wants to be able to get it real close, but not have it kind of twitchy, you can actually take these and move it. And so what happens is you'll see you get this little white space, which means anything inside here won't actually control anything. So you can you can kind of you can set up a dead space, right? So just kind of make sure and bring that back. Just just don't bring it back lower than five. So five it is. And you can do that with the right stick as well. Uh, and the other thing is you can swap your left stick and D-pad. You can D-pad if you want to do diagonal lock. Uh, you can do that. So for instance, uh, one of these two, and I can't remember always the triggers. This one is kind of important because they do have these nice triggers, so they are movable. But let's say you're playing a shooting game where you know you don't want this. You want it to on. So you can turn it like this. So like as soon as you touch it, so if you're rapid firing, it's just boom, right? And you can do that for each side if you so choose. So that's also that's also just kind of nice. Uh, let's exit out of this. So let's go here and let's try out some some games, shall we? So first off, we'll play good old Diablo. You guys may or may not be able to hear it. I'll turn the volume up a little bit. 
Not crazy loud, but of course, checking for updates. Hold on. Okay, so we have Diablo open here, and you can see I can actually move my cursor around. Now, the one thing to just verify is if it does have to do updates, let it update, then turn off the app and then restart it so it has a chance to actually do the updates. So tap to play. I got right button, left button. Oh, that's way nicer than using the, the gamepad. But yeah, that's smooth, right? And you can just like me, I'm, I'm probably going to die here, just so you guys know. Tap to open inventory. Tap item to die. Anyways, it plays great. <laughs> Any error on this game is me. Just accept it. I have, but it plays plays good. I just have to uh, play Diablo better. Okay, let's try let's try another game. So Asphalt Nine, another game that should be uh, controller supported. You can see I can move through everything at the top of this game of the screen and everything. So I'm just going to tap on the play. Again, don't judge my game playing. We're just going to see how the controller feels. But yeah, look, look, it's it's nice and it reacts nice and fast, which is awesome. And this again, another game that just feels way better playing with a controller. Whoa, you know, is my boost? Can I go through here? No. Nope. Nobody said again. I'm good at these games. Oh yeah, I got me some speed now. I'm not going to catch them though. Again, that's, you know what, it plays great. I, this, this is a game I find myself way better playing with a controller, for sure. All right, let's uh, exit out of that. I got, I think I got one more game. Let's just try one, one more, just, just for fun sakes. Future Fight. It said, I think, that it was controller compatible, so we'll find out. Oh yeah, see, look at that, game control, boom. One of these is, yeah, I'm kicking butt, right? Kicking butt. Uh-oh, doesn't matter. Just get in there. You can change characters. Yeah, I know. I'll go to this guy. I have to tap on him or something? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm, I am causing damage. And there's no real delay or anything like that, like from button pressing. And if there is, I almost have a feeling that it's probably more, you know, the uh, fact that the the phone itself, again, is not a flagship phone, so it may have a little bit of delay on it. Oh, there's a lot of people up there. Oh, don't matter. Don't matter. All right. You know what? That plays good, too. I, I'm going to say, because, like, I could play, and you could, can you, like, creep... No, this one, this is a game that doesn't really utilize the, it's like all on, all off, right? Which is fine, that's game, that's, that's the game in itself. I myself like the, the grips on the back. And as far as how the buttons physically work, they work really good. Uh, they do, I want to say, look more premium. I want to say, you know, they may not be any more premium, but they look more premium on the more expensive model. But it functions, it functions just fine. And like I said, uh, it fits on this phone, nice and easy to take out when you're done. You just kind of pop it off. And the bonus, of course, is like it's tiny. Like it is probably, it's like the same size basically as my phone is in regards to like width, width and height. You know, you guys can see it there, right? It's not a lot different. So throwing this in your bag, your backpack or whatever may be even nicer than the bigger version just because of how compact it is. Something to take into consideration. Um, for the twenty dollars less, I still think it's a it's a pretty good purchase. Uh, if for me, uh, it would be fine. Uh, I still think I will use the more expensive version just because it has a bit bigger grips. And uh, if you want to check that out, we have it on the channel as of now. Yeah, it's good. It's not bad. It works. It works well. All right, my friends. Uh, that's the Game Sir X X something or other X two S X two S. For X2, small, super sporty, I don't know. I don't know what the S stands for, it doesn't matter. It's it's smaller and cheaper, which is good. All right, guys, links down below if you guys are interested, and I'm out. Later.